Welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. In this video, I'm showing the uh, second uh, part of a uh, 3.0 Mercruiser uh, teardown. Uh, based on what I see on the floor down here, not much has been done, but I just wanted to show the stages of which we took it off so far. So starting on, the, on this side, we removed the coolant, first remove the cooling hoses down here on the block. They're, they just kind of snap on with a push button type quick connect. Uh, two connectors here and then one back there. Um, and then the, those hoses came up to like a pull up harness that was bolted on right here. The same bracket was bolted on with the oil, uh, gear oil res reservoir. So that was taken off and those hoses were taken off. Next, there was a hose on the bottom here that ran back to the back of the engine. And this is the hose right here. It was pulled back and um, is obviously still hanging on the motor because we haven't taken the rest of the, it sort of ties into the power steering system, so we haven't taken that off yet. But anyway, that hose is on the bottom. There was another sort hose from here to here that was removed that gained access to the bottom. Then the bottom hose was pulled off here and pulled out from, from in that direction. Uh, there were several uh, plastic uh, wire ties that were holding all these hoses together. We clipped those off so that we'd uh, get those out of the way. Um, next, on this side of the engine, the alternator was bolted here. It was removed, the harness was moved off the back of it, and then the alternator bracket was unbolted here and here. And the whole alter and there was another bolt right here holding the, the uh, alternator adjust adjusting arm on. That was taken off. Um, all these bolts were taken off and bagged. Um, every time we take off bolts and there's a uh, two for the bracket one for the adjusting arm and then a third bolt um, a fourth bolt I'm not sure where it goes but I'll figure it out in a minute so anyway we, we bag and tag the bolts so we know where they go um, again the alternator was removed and then on the other side the, uh, the next thing that was kind of key kind of in the way was the electrical harness we removed, uh, disconnected the alternator for, uh, harness, then we worked our way around this side. There was uh, connections up here on the front. There was two coolant sensors right here that were taken off. Another coolant sensor connector right here. It was, that was just disconnected. The carburetor connector was disconnected. Uh, the oil reservoir level was disconnected. And then the harness pulled out through here, pulled back off this way. Disconnected starter down there, two wires there, one here and one back there. A two oil pressure uh, devices, one connected here and one connected right there. The ignition coil was mounted right here along with this big bracket. This is a bracket that holds your shift mechanism. Uh, the shift net mechanism was removed first so we can get access to the bolts that were holding the uh, harness on. Uh, once we got access to the harness, it was taken off the bracket and then the entire bracket was removed. There's a, there was a bolt here, here. Those are 12 point head bolts here, here, and one more right there, still in there as a matter of fact. So that's got to be taken out later. So at this stage, we're about to, um, next stage we're going to do is take off the fuel pump, disconnect the line from the carburetor, um, disconnect this hose, this rubber hose, move the uh, water pump, the starter and then uh, take off the manifold. Well, I'll leave the carburetor bolted to the manifold for the time being, but we're going to take off the manifold and uh, I'm, I'm making a test tool to test these manifolds. Basically what I'm going to do is uh, devise a way to put a rubber hose on here and then put uh, compressed air or water, comp compressed water on this side. I'm going to put a gasket and a solid steel plate to block this off so air and water can't pass. And that way I'll be testing the water side of this jacket. Uh, water side of this, uh, it's a combination of intake exhaust manifold and I'll be testing the water side for leaks. And uh, because that's uh, one of the, I understand one of the prime areas for these things to ingest water. This engine, this particular engine didn't ingest water. What it did do is uh, extract a rod or whatever that is. Uh, like I said, it blew chunks of metal outside right here here's another piece that's part of the block right there so yeah this was had a serious uh nuclear meltdown so we're about to uh, finish tearing this thing down and i'll show another video when we get to the stage of uh having just about buried before we take the, the cylinder head off 
Thanks for watching.